Good morning, children. Welcome back to English online class. So, children, in last class we have completed the lesson, the tale of Peter Rabbit. So, in today's class we will start with the new poem. So, let's begin today's class. All of you, open your English textbook and open page number twenty-three. So the name of the poem is Tom Trills. So children, first I will read out the poem and then I will explain about it. With their feet in the earth and their heads in the sky, the tall trees watch the clouds go by. When the dusk sends quickly, the birds go. The birds to rest. The tall trees shelter them safe in a nest. And then in the night, with the tall trees peeping, the moon shines down on a world that's sleeping. So children, as the title suggests, this poem is about tall trees. So children, the poet describes the trees as we human beings. So what do you mean by human beings, children? Human beings means people like you and me. So children, we have face, we have eyes, we have nose, we have head, and we have hands, legs. In the same way, tall trees also have these all things. So children, the poet describes the tall trees as human beings because the tall trees have the qualities of human beings. So children, we have feet. In the same way, trees also have feet in the earth. That means the roots of the trees are in the earth. So children, we stand on our foot. In the same way, trees also stand on their feet. So children, here the roots of the trees are compared with the feet of human beings. So children, we have head. In the same way, trees also have head. The branches of the, here, the branches of the trees are compared with the head of human beings. The branches of trees splend all over. So the head is, the branches of trees is compared with the head of human beings. The tall trees watch the clouds go by. So children, as we human beings have the eyes, in the same way trees also have eyes. So the what so the tall trees watches watches means observe they observe the clouds go by in the sky when the dust sends quickly the bird to rest so children what do you mean by dust Dusk means the time after sunset before it is completely dark. So children, when the dusk spans quickly, the birds go to rest. So children, I think you have observed a flock of birds move towards their home in the evening. So what is the name? What is the poem? Of the bird is called children? Yes, you are right. Nest. So children, after the sunset, the birds go to the nest to rest. 
So where will be the nest? The nest will be on the top of the tall trees. Okay children, this is enough for today's class. In next class we will discuss the further structure of this poem. Now let us move towards new words in this poem. So the first one is feet. F E E T. Feet. Second one is earth. E A R T H. Earth. Third one is head. H E A D. Head. Fourth one is tall tree. T A L L. Tall. T R E E. Tree. Tall tree. Fifth one, watch. W A T C H. Watch. Watch means to observe. Sixth one, clouds. C L O U D S. Clouds. Seventh one is dusk. D U S K. Dusk. Eighth one, quickly. Q U I C K L Y. Quickly. Ninth one, birds. B I R D S. Birds. Tenth one, rest. R E S T. Rest. See you children. One more time I will repeat these words. First one, feet. Second one, earth. Third one, head. Fourth one, tall tree. Fifth one, watch. Sixth one, clouds. Seventh one, dust. Eighth one, quickly. Ninth one, birds. And tenth one is rest. Okay children, it was all about today's class. Now let us move towards today's homework part. And today's homework is Read and write each word five times. So children, you have to read and write these ten new words, each word five times in your homework notebook and also read the poem once. Okay children, thank you.